Hello everybody, Mr. Pilgrim here coming at you with another easy platinum trophy, and that is going to be for Midnight Racer Ultimate. Um, it is easy in the sense that it's just going to be a bit of a grind, it's not going to take too much time, um, probably only like a couple hours worth of your time and then you get the platinum trophy. Um, I'm not in the main menu because it is blaring music that you can't turn off and yeah just try not to get have that be an issue while i'm trying to talk but basically all of the trophies aside from three are going to be just for unlocking all of the levels in the game that you have not unlocked um i'll probably show that in the menu and i'll tell you now the music is a little loud and then the other main trophies is going to be for unlocking the cars basically how you do that is you'll play the game you'll get points from um playing the game and then you'll spend those points to get more cars and then more levels what i recommend doing first is with your first thousand points that you get is to get the um third um track and that is going to be like the um neon track um you know c cyberpunkish themed or whatever you vaporwave is what it is it is probably the easiest track to try and drive on and get points for because the hills and stuff like that are really easy to see through so you'll know where your next thing is. Just think of it like Guitar Hero but with a car on a racing track. You'll move your car left and right to get the points and yeah. Um, the other thing to mention though is that the last three trophies are going to be related to getting a one star, a two star, and a three star. I would just pick whatever song that you're comfortable with and then just work on doing as good as you can to get three star. Two star isn't as that bad, but getting one star is surprisingly hard for me because you have to try and actively manage to be bad. You can't fail any of these, but you can do bad. So like, say a song has a score of almost 2000 and you need roughly 16 to 1800 for a three star, then you can try and slowly figure out what is needed to get a two star and then slowly work on getting a one star and other than that that'll be the um platinum trophy for midnight driver ultimate um i will at least show the menu so you can understand what i'm trying to say about the cars in the um track that i would recommend driving on and then i will at least show one track that i'm fairly decent on and I will say that um, if you have a history of epilepsy or seizures, I would highly not, I would highly recommend to not play this game, as it is a bunch of flashing lights and things like that very rapidly, and certain tracks are much worse than the one that I will be showing on. But yeah, so now we're gonna go back to the menu and show you what it uh, looks like, so you can see. <laughs> As you'll see here, you have your cars that you can kind of flip between. Here is the next car that I need to get, and that's going to be 10,000 score, you know. But for every vehicle that you get, you will get a um, a trophy, aside from the ones that are already unlocked at the start of the game. So then from there, you'll have your um, tracks that you'll drive on. You always have the Legacy and the um, new Kyoto, but I recommend getting the Retro. That one will be the easiest, and then basically local will be all of the tracks that you could go and play through, and I'm just going to show this off right now, and then you can do standard or zen. I just like doing um, standard. It's pretty easy. But alright, as I said, um, hopefully this guide is pretty helpful and straightforward about helping you get this platinum trophy. Um, I'm sure the game is not too expensive, I believe anywhere from 5 to $10. And it's just going to take you anywhere from three to however many hours it takes you. It's just more or less about how much time you want to dedicate to playing the game and how much grind you want to have. Because I don't believe that there's a specific easy way of getting all the points. It's just you've got to play it over and over again. Other than like if you happen to find a really good song that you can play, you know, things like that might help. Like if you can find a, a short, quick song that gets you... Like, you can guarantee it's pretty quick, you know, or something like that. But anyways, this has been Mr. Pilgrim. I'm now going to show off at least one of the songs I'm fairly decent at, and I will see you all in the next one.